Hi, this is Rebecca Malden with a brief video about mapping a two-mode network in UCI-NET. So as you can see, I've got UCI-NET open. And um, if we want to enter some data into UCI-NET, the best way to do it is with this little uh, DL editor. It's this fourth button over. If you just click on it, it'll pop up and you see DL editor. This will allow you to, if you wanted to enter data in here by hand, you could, but um, it's helpful to already have your data in Excel and be able to copy it and then paste it over here. So I've got um, a, a data set here. It just is called two mode network. You can see sort of the basis for this two mode network is people and events, and they either attended the event or did not attend the event. So for each person, um, we can actually change these yeses and nos into zeros and ones. And so here is the um, matrix with zeros and ones for value of whether the person attended the event or not. I'm just highlighting the data and then control C copying it. And we come back over to UCI net. One little helpful um, piece of information. Sometimes if you just paste directly uh, this First cell, like cell number one, column one row, it won't paste right. It'll put something in there that doesn't belong. So if you just move, you do what I do, just move your cursor off that cell and then come back to it, it will alleviate that problem. And now I'm just going to hit Control V and paste in the data. I need to tell the tell UCI Net that it's a matrix. For UCI Net, it doesn't care if it's a two mode metric matrix or a one mode, you can kind of see here that it gives you the opportunity to uh, just remind yourself that two mode will work. And our first rows are columns, our first um, columns are rows, so these are checked. In this case, I don't uh, expect to have any duplicate ties, so either one of these is okay, but if you think you might, then what do you prefer, to sum up those ties or ignore them? And I would prefer to ignore. We're not going to have any missing, but if we did have missing, we could actually ask it to recode to zero. Uh, that's pretty much else, all we need. And now we save the data, and I can just save it um, here on my desktop. I'm going to save it as two mode data set. How about that? And it's saved. And you can see that we just get a little text file that um, comes up. As soon as I close this X, it'll be deleted. Um, but don't worry, because the network itself has been saved. Now we want to, if you want to just double check that it has been saved, you can ask to display. And we're going to see pretty much what it, it just displayed. So we see that network. Or you could actually load it back onto, you could clear this, oh, sorry. You could clear this out and then load the UCI net. File, say OK, we're going to load it as a matrix, and it shows up that way. So the data is there, even though you close that little uh, .txt file down. There's two different ways to visualize. It's going to get you to the same place. One just saves you a few steps. This QD is just a hot button that was added a few versions back, and it stands for Quick Draw, for Quick Start for Draw. And then this is the visualizer actual program. So if you take it the slow way, you open up NetDraw. It's not too much slower. And now we tell it which file you want. If you did it the quick way, you just click QD, quick draw, and it would immediately ask you what file, so you don't have to open NetDraw first. But I'm going to click on the U, and I'm going to tell it uh, map this two mode data set for me, and then open, and it will map it automatically. And that's as simple as it gets. If you want to save this file, you say File, Save Diagram As, and you can save it as a bitmap or a JPEG. If you don't want to quite save it yet and you want to just do a little bit of rearranging, this allows you to. I don't recommend making any major adjustments, but sometimes you're like, wait a second, that's a little confusing. Those two lines are complicated. Let's make that a little clearer. And that's helpful. There's um, a bunch of buttons up here to format, and some of these get a little confusing, but just quickly, if you want to take the labels on and off, 
you can just turn them off or you can turn them back on with that little thing as an L. And then this is to turn your arrows on and off. So see how we have people are going to events, which makes sense that way. But if you're like, man, I don't want to see my arrows, then you can just turn them off. It'll clean up a little bit. And then um, for properties, nodes, you can change property nodes. You can change um, the color, the size, the shape. You can change the text of the labels. You can change the outline and lines, background. So all this stuff you can change if you want to. And that is basically how you input data for a two-mode network and get it mapped out.